Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. Happy Saturday. It is officially July 1st. I cannot believe how fast June flew by. It has been so much going on, but I promise I'm going to bring you guys more content this month. Um, you know, everything is slowing down. Thank y'all for y'all's patience, for real, for real. So anyways, I'm coming on here to talk about the whole situation with my girl, Amaretta. Y'all know I am a huge fan of Amaretta. Um, I wish she was bigger than what she was. Last year, um, when I was doing the Spotify live show, when they were down at Rolling Loud, we did like a whole little session. We were talking about Amaretta and um, her first time at Rolling Loud in Florida. And that was really fun. So shout out to everybody who was in the room at that time. So Amaretta is once again making waves. She's once again causing drama. Y'all remember it was about a year ago when she dropped her song called Sorry Not Sorry. And basically in that song, she was saying how all these cities are not Atlanta. She was tired of like people from Decatur and Lithonia and, you know, all these outskirts claiming that they were from Atlanta because she was born and raised and bred in Atlanta. Decatur is not Atlanta. Nope. Gwinnett is not Atlanta. Nope. Roswell is not Atlanta. And then, of course, Lotto jumped on the remix, and the remix was fire. So Amaretta the Great is once again causing more controversy. So if you guys don't know, yesterday she dropped the Put It On The Floor, a.k.a. the Retta Mix, and she went in, okay? Um, in this freestyle, she's basically name-dropping several key players concerning the whole YSL RICO trial. She's basically defending Gunna. She calls out little Baby for picking a side. And then she tells little Boosie that he needs to what? Shh, be quiet and stay the hell up out of Atlanta's business. She also calls out little Dirk and says, you know, little Dirk is on the gram trying to boost up his pride. But yet, YB, aka NBA Youngboy, is still outside. <laughs> Okay, so this caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people were on social media just bugging out once they heard her remix. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a snippet. Hopefully the algorithm will not pull it down. But I just want y'all to hear the part where she goes in at Lil Boosie and Lil Dirk. Check this out. But this Atlanta bitch, somebody tell Boosie, be quiet. I heard that Dirk all on the ground, trying to boost up his pride. He's sending this is at Lil Gunner, when Lil Y be outside. All right, all right, all right. That's enough, that's enough. That's all I can give y'all. If y'all want to hear more, it's on her YouTube page. Go check it out. So Amaretta went live, and she was going back and forth with a lot of the trolls who were trolling her and saying that she's just clout chasing and she needs to leave these big rappers' names out her mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and play y'all that video as well. So go ahead and check this out. You interested in me, that's why you over here. Cause if I if the shit was lame, y'all would just push me to the side, but y'all know I ate that bitch up. Trudy went slap crazy. That's why y'all like, ooh. Why y'all so mad? Cause you what, what can you really say? Nothing. The fuck? I only came on here to make sure you don't mention Boosie name again. Boosie, 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 no, I just got over here to see what y'all got to say. I'm not arguing nobody over the internet, bro. Y'all, these folks just so mad. They keep saying, at, I'm dissing, dissing, dissing. I don't see why I diss nobody. I ain't calling nobody no None. That's a diss. What's the diss? That just got you canceled. No folks that go feel the truth. Please shake the f up. Please. Y'all leaving this goddamn. I ain't got time. 
Rap is rap, exactly. Like, I don't got time for that. Keep telling like, you this and you this and that's our problem. I don't know where the this is between just same face. Now, if I drop the this, now that's completely different. Y'all know the difference from a this. Cause I'm gonna be on it. Right, go get the boob. Like, what the? F I'm not finna be in there. All these this that hoes that keep talking. Can't even, don't even know how to. Talking shit, tell me what they gonna do to me. What the hell you think you finna do me? Besides, give up. You staying fast, though, right? Huh? Nah, I'm gonna lie. And if men step to you or make you need what you this lane, boost your daughter, know how to. F you got the best version to put it on the floor. And that's, that's what I'm saying. They tell my son, she trying to make a come up, uh, whatever they said, a hit. Bitch, I, I, I. Um, what's the word? Um, participated in the month, put it on the floor just like everybody else. Jack up my shit, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They mad that my shit actually went crazy. Like, I actually stepped on shit. I actually put that shit on the floor. Like, my shit actually ate. Like, it actually went hard. You talking about how you gonna make money off of that? How the anybody else make money off of that? It's not a money thing. Bitch, it's a motherfucking challenge. Whatever it was. Everybody participated. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. All right, I'm ready to do it. She need to stop. Why is she doing this? It's for clout. Bitch, what the f***? Ain't that even the reason for rapping to get more fans, followers? What the f***? Y'all be getting mad as hell when folk be saying them hard every time. Y'all don't want a bitch to win. That be the problem. Y'all be trying to drop salt. Y'all be mad when I be humble and mad when I pop it. So I might wear a pop it. All right, so y'all just heard what Amaretta had to say. Now, y'all know Lil Dirk Cuddy. He is the king of subliminals. He's not going to at you. He's not going to say your name, but he will throw some shade. Remember when him and YB were beefing and they were, like, writing messages to each other and money? It was so ratchet and hood that even the mayor of Chicago got on the floor and was writing messages and money to go get the vaccine, okay? <laughs> to so that is how Little Dirt gets down. He always, you know, writes little cryptic messages. So once her verse was posted on the shade room, Little Dirt took to his Instagram stories and he basically posted a meme of Lil Boosie and, you know, was saying that he's getting money and Effie Lil B. So y'all go ahead and check this out. You get it, man. I hear it. Step on. Watch out, little bitch. All right. So y'all just saw what Lil Dirk had to say. So Lil Dirk was slick with it. He didn't post her name. He didn't give her quote unquote clout. But you know Lil Boosie, okay? Lil Boosie badass. He don't care. He's going to put an ad on it, a name on it, all that. So this is what Lil Boosie had to say. He says, Amaretta. First of all, he misspelled her name, but we're not even going to go there. Get mad at what your city doing, rat. Don't get mad at me, LOL. Then he says, I see the play. And who you trying to get a feature with? Shake my head. Hashtag clout chasing. Just keep rapping fire. Hopefully your time coming. So that's what Lil Boosie had to say. And it's very interesting to see a lot of the guys' takes on social media. A lot of guys are saying she should stay in a woman's place. She's just a little girl. She's clout chasing. Why is she mentioning all these big rappers' names? She just wants clout. You know, the same song and dance. For me, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I love the fact that she mentioned these big people's names because guess what? Amaretta can actually rap. She is very cold, very, very lyrical. I love her music. Um, she puts a lot of message in her music. And it's sad that she's not as big as she should be. Like I said, you have the Pound Town girl at BET and, you know, doing all this extra stuff just for a viral hit. But Amaretta has been really putting in work and she's really lyrical. Let's not forget, she basically had Ludacris come out of quote unquote retirement to respond to her Not Atlanta song. And his remix was fire. OK, Mama making hella noise. Cause a star was born and I'll take this as I'm a redder, gave him credit for Cause early I moved to College Park, got rich like Ludacris, hit the lot up So she's been doing her thing for a while, but yeah, she does not get the props that she deserves Beautiful girl, very lyrical, but for whatever reason, she's still not on the same level as a Ice Spice or a Coy LeRae or a Lotto And some people do say that that's due to colorism because she is a chocolate girl but with that being said, I find it very funny that Boosie or Boosie fans are even mad that she, you know, called out his name and she told him to be quiet. Little Boosie runs his mouth 24-7 on Vlad's couch. Let's keep it real. 
The man gossips more than a little bit. And I'm here for it. I love when Boosie spills his little tea and his little opinions when they go viral. You know, I will listen to them. So it's interesting that Boosie can have an opinion about everything under the sun. He can rap about everything under the sun. But the second that Amaretta has an opinion about him, all of a sudden she needs to shut up. She needs to stay in a woman's place. She needs to keep Boosie's name out of her mouth. Amaretta can talk and rap about anything she wants to rap about. If y'all can support trash ass songs like Pound Town, My Booty Hole Brown, and all that nonsense, I, I'm going to support somebody who's lyrical. If that's how she feels about the YSL case, if she wants to shout out Lucci, that is her business. I think her remix was fire. I'm saying, I think honestly, the remix probably goes even harder than the original Put It on the Flow song. But that's just my opinion. But I also think this. Is she clout chasing? Of course. We live in a world where everybody is clout chasing. Everybody is putting up content, including myself, for a little bit of clout. I'd be a liar if I was saying that she wasn't clout chasing. If she wasn't clout chasing, she wouldn't mention those people's names. And the fact that she got their attention, and even if Lil Dirk is responding to her subliminally, he still responded to her. She still got their attention. She still got the internet buzzing. She was trending yesterday. People were talking about her. Lil Boosie fell for the bait. And I'm not mad at Amaretta. So keep doing your thing, sis. Keep making your music for people who really enjoy lyricism. You know what I'm saying? And keep rapping about things outside of sex and getting a bag and all that stuff. And I really love her music because she does not solely rap about stuff like that. She's not rapping about a city girl life. She's rapping about stuff that a lot of young girls can actually relate to. Self-esteem and, you know, self-love and things like that. So I'm a huge fan of Amaretta and I was here for this diss. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you guys. How do you guys feel about her diss track or so-called diss track? Do you feel like she's simply clout chasing? Do you feel like she has a right to her opinion? How do you guys feel about Lil Dirk subliminally responding to her? And little Boosie basically blasting her on social media. Are you guys feeling the song? Are y'all not feeling the song? And then why do you think that Amaretta is not as big as she should be? Because lyrically, she eats. And the fact that she is not even on the same level as a Coil Ray, you know, is insane. A lot of people still do not know Amaretta. And I don't think Love and Hip Hop helped her at all. You know, so I'm glad she's no longer on there. But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.